I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious curry chicken. This curry chicken right here, listen here. It is so delicious. So easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Jeannie Young style is going to be so tasty hands down. You'll never have my curry chicken before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you're gonna need. You will need some chicken. Now listen here. When you are making curry chicken, decide what pieces you like. Here at the Young's house, we like to use chicken thighs, so I have some beautiful chicken thighs that I have washed off. And I use apple cider vinegar, cold water, and a little bit of salt. We've rinsed it off and pat it dry with a nice paper towel. You will need some chopped tomatoes these are you know diced tomatoes you will also need some coconut milk and i'll explain what we're going to use this for you're going to let's put this over here you're going to need some nice veggies so we can make everything look beautiful and also taste delicious so right here you can see that we have some crinkle cut frozen uh, carrots any kind of carrots will do the trick okay they don't have to be frozen i just kind of like the way the crinkle cut um, carrots look. You're going to need some bell peppers. We have a green and a red bell pepper. Any color bell peppers, you know, will work. And then we have a sweet Vidalia onion here. Okay. We also have some baby Yukon gold potatoes. We have some white rice. White rice. You cannot have curry chicken, at least not at the Young's house. You can't have curry chicken without rice. So we will be making some rice. I have some broth here, any kind of broth. Okay, and then a couple of spices so we can make everything taste delicious. So right here we have good old curry powder. You can find curry powder in different forms. You can find it in a paste form. You know, you can find it in the powder form. I, I have tried the paste and I've tried the powder. I like both, but when I make it, I usually lean more towards the powder form. Okay, you're gonna need some garlic powder. A little bit of red pepper flakes just to make it a little spicy you know not enough to knock anybody's socks off you know we have some onion powder we have salt and sazon sazon is will give you a beautiful color to your dish and a great flavor and we also have some chicken powder make sure your hands are impeccably clean let's get started with this really quick and simple yeah so tasty recipe i am recording myself so bear with me i'm gonna have to you know, you know, go in and out of the film so I can uh, pause the camera. Be right back. Okay, everyone. So one of the first things that we want to do is let's just go ahead right away and get started um, seasoning up our beautiful chicken that we have here. Now, like I said, keep, please keep in mind that any pieces of the chicken that you want to use, absolutely you can. You want to use chicken wings, chicken breasts, you want to use boneless, skinless. Like seriously, have fun with this recipe, okay? So now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and I'm gonna start seasoning my chicken, okay? And I'm not gonna use the red pepper flakes right now, but I am gonna go in right away with some curry powder on the inside of the chicken. Oh my goodness. If you, let me know in the comment section, have you ever tasted curry, curry chicken or curry anything? You know, you can make curry oxtails, you can make curry anything. Have you ever tasted it? And if you have, let me know your experience and what you thought, because I feel like when it comes to a good curry, you have to have like a palate for it. You have to be used to the flavors and kind of like understand it. So now we're gonna go in with some good old garlic powder. You can never have enough garlic powder, all right? And then we're gonna go in with onion powder, just like so. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Yes, I do. Is the weather starting to warm up where you are located at? The weather is finding, finally starting to get really nice. So this is the salt. And then um, we are going to then use, I gotta get my parsley out. We are then going to use some sazon. 
sazon for the inside of the, you know, the bottom part, and then sazon for the top as well. I love the flavor, I love the color that it's gonna give you. So now what we'll do is let's flip this over in this manner. We're gonna put a tiny bit of oil in the bottom of our pan. Now, we're not deep frying this. You only need about this much oil, okay? Just a little bit, all right? And we're gonna get a nice sear onto both sides of the chicken, okay? When I come back, I would have seasoned the top and put parsley on both sides. Be right back. So now that we have our chicken nice and seasoned, what I wanna do right now is take this time to, any time, any vegetables that you have that you need to cut, now's the perfect time to get them cut. Okay, so we will be cutting our bell peppers and I'll cut the onion off camera so I don't have to cry. And then as far as this potato, you do not have to peel the skin. The pit, this, the skin on here is very supple. It's soft, you know? And I'm just gonna do a number like this with our potatoes. Look at that, pretty simple, right? Absolutely it is. And you put as many potatoes as you want to put into your dish, okay? If you don't like potatoes, guess what? Don't use it, okay? I'm not really a fan of carrots. And those of you that are familiar with me, you'll know that I, I'm not a fan of it. But if I feel like I'm making a dish that definitely needs something that I don't like, I'm going to put it in there. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm not going to put as many in there. You know what I mean? So... I'm gonna watch how many carrots I put in there, but I wanna put enough in there so it makes it nice and beautiful. And my family members like carrots, so we're gonna get some in there. Okay, so now that we have the potatoes nice and cut, let's go ahead and just put them back into this bowl because we're not ready for them just yet. Meanwhile, I have a nice hot pan here. And like I said, tiny bit of oil is in that pan. Let's go ahead and put our chicken thighs right into the oil skin down first and be careful don't sit there and throw the chicken in and run the other way okay because you don't want to splatter that oil now i do feel like my oil could get a little bit hotter so i'm just going to wait a second before i put the rest of the chicken in you know you always you know that that might happen things happen when you're when you're really cooking you know so, and that one, is that one okay because the oil's not hot? Oh yes, it's just fine. But, but we see that the oil needs a little bit hot, needs to get a little bit hotter. So now, the bell peppers. Oh, I'm not happy with that little piece there. Okay, we're gonna chop them down, just like so. And I think I'll keep them into strips. You know, you chop them how you want, slice them, dice them, you know? I like to use the different colors because it just really makes you, it makes it nice and vibrant. And each bell pepper really does give a different flavor, believe it or not. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to do the same thing with the red. We're going to slice it up just like so. All right, I couldn't be more excited for this here recipe. It's been a while. It's been a while. I was going to make it last week, but I had to switch it up a little bit. All right. Look at that right there. Oh, I'm very happy with this. Now our oil is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the chicken in. All right, nice and easy, beautiful. And I forgot to tell you all that we were also going to be seasoning our chicken with uh, black pepper. So I did put some black pepper on off camera. Okay, and then I did go in with the uh, parsley flakes as well. Okay, nice and beautiful, we are cooking this on a medium-high heat. Medium-high heat is the perfect heat to get the sear that we're looking for, you know, because you don't want to turn that heat up on blast. You turn it up on full blast, you'll have a dark chicken that is not done in the inside, okay? Medium, medium-high heat is just perfect, okay? So now that we have our peppers nice and sliced, I think I'll go ahead and turn these ones because they're pretty long and just slice them like so. Okay, so we got our peppers. I'm gonna do the onion off camera. I got the potatoes ready. All we're waiting for is a nice sear. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next.
One thing that I want to do is get started on my beautiful rice. I salt it my water. Anytime you're making rice, you're making potatoes, or you're making noodles, you salt the water so you give it flavor. 11 minutes is all you're going to need. It's going to be nice and fluffy every time. See that sear right there? That's what we're looking for. Look at the gorgeous color. Let's just talk about the smell that is coming off of these chicken thighs right about now. Look at that there. That, that color right there is flavor that we're definitely looking for. And you're able to achieve this color by using the spices that we used along with that sazon and also not bothering it. Once you get it in a pan, don't bother it. Just kind of let it be, let it get that nice sear. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, and when I come back, I'll show you what we need to do next. It gets interesting. So now that we have a beautiful color onto both sides of our chicken, what we're gonna do right away is we are going to then take, up, take our uh, potatoes that we have, you know, chopped up just like so, and strategically just place them, you know, kind of face down, you know, cut side down into the pan, okay, so that they can begin to cook. Now the oil that we put in the pan is still in the, is still in the pan. And you can see I did switch pans because I needed a bigger pan, okay? So what we're going to be able to achieve is a nice crispiness to our potato and, and, and get that process started cooking the potatoes because the potatoes are going to uh, be the vegetable that takes the longest to cook, you know. All right, so I feel like I have enough potatoes in there. These potatoes right here, I'll boil them up and give them to Prince and Polo, our dogs. So now, I need to take the rice out. The rice is done cooking. It's nice and beautiful and fluffy. And the next thing I'm gonna do is tell you the perfect time that you need to put your bell peppers and onions in, your carrots and your tomatoes. When I come back. So now I wanted you all to come in and see what's happening in our pan. And you can see we don't have a whole lot of oil in the pan. It's not needed, just that little bit of oil and we're gonna keep it. We're not gonna get rid of that oil. Meanwhile, our rice is done and I have opened up a can of coconut milk and I'm putting a little bit of the coconut milk in with the rice. Sometimes I put it in when I'm cooking my rice, but that's gonna give you a nice island flavor. The rice is nice and hot, so it's going to warm up that coconut milk. And then put you some butter in there. Now it's time to go in and put some of our onions and bell peppers in. Not all of them, because we'll use the rest a little later, and I'll tell you why. I'll explain it. Like these ones right here, they're really going to cook down into flavor land. They're going to just kind of really break down and put amazing flavor in. But these ones here that we're going to put in a little later, you're going to still be able, if we put them in later, you're going to still be able to see that nice, vibrant, gorgeous vegetable floating all through your curry chicken, okay? We don't want these to dissolve like we, like we want these to, okay? And just let everything go for a little bit. Next is time to put in your broth. I happen to be using beef broth, but if you have chicken broth or vegetable broth, both of them will do. If you just have water, that's fine. If you are the person that just has water, you don't have any broth, it's okay. I'm just going to tell you to extra season that broth so you can get an amazing flavor. And you can see that I really, really covered this pan with a lot of broth, almost all the way up the chicken, okay, with the broth. Okay, so let's just let everything simmer for a nice amount of time. And then when I come back, I'll show you what you need to do next. Everything has been simmering for a while. So now what I want to do is I want to go in with our tomatoes. You can put fresh tomatoes in, but I really don't suggest it. Really, I don't. Now, I've used this. This is a 14.5 ounce of diced tomatoes, and I've used the liquid that was in um, the can as well. It's just going to give you amazing flavor. Now everything just simmers and marries together. But listen, when it comes to curry, you got to have some more curry powder. Not just the curry powder we seasoned our chicken with, but we are going to re-season after everything cooks down for a little bit. Take a look at these guys. We have Polo here. He has a carrot 
and Prince is eating his carrot, but Polo, he's really not interested in his carrot at all. <laughs> so everything has been simmering for some time now. The vegetables are starting to break down and let off some amazing flavor. That chicken is starting to get nice and tender and soak up the flavor from the veggies and everything, okay? So now, I've tasted the broth and it is amazing, but it doesn't taste like curry chicken just yet. But guess what? Now we re-season and we put curry powder into this broth here and that's how we're gonna get that flavor. And another, this is the curry powder. And another thing that I like to do is I like to put the rest of the coconut milk and you all make sure that you don't use sweetened coconut milk. This is, it's unsweetened, okay? And you only need a little bit, okay, to really take you back to the islands, okay? All right, so we're going in with curry powder. Always start off with a little bit and you can add to it, okay? And now we're gonna put in some onion powder. Oh, oh, you can whip it, you can smell it. Oh my goodness. And garlic powder, red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat. Some people like to put a scotch bonnet in there. You know, you could, but I'm, I'm not trying to burn anybody's socks off, you, you know, with too much heat. But then also, look at this, chicken powder. Chicken powder is gonna take this over the top. And we're gonna give it everything a nice little stir in, just like so. And after simmering for a while, we're gonna go back in and see if we have that flavor that we're looking through, looking for. Now, right, I, I would say a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes before the dish is completely done, we're then gonna come back and we're going to put our carrots in. Carrots always go in last. They have to go in last because you don't want them to be mushy. And then we also will go in with the bell peppers and onions that we have here. A little bit of coconut milk. We got rice on the side. I'm going to say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite. Oh, I, I want to taste it right now. I'm going to go ahead. Mm, oh. Mm -hmm. See? That right there. That. It's curry chicken and it tastes so good. Oh my goodness. I'll be back. I'm so excited. Mm. Curry chicken at the Young's house. Make you some. Just let it simmer. You could only imagine what it smells like in here. Time for the other veggies and the carrots to go in. Oh yeah. Listen here everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know about Tina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. I wanted to explain to you all that the starch from the potatoes, this cooking, is going to create um, a thickness to your broth. Now, if you want yours a little bit thicker, you could use like a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch, mix with cold water, throw it in there, and it'll thicken up a bit more. But I feel like I don't need it. My battery's gonna die soon. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you once again for this beautiful meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Take a look at this. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. The finishing touch, a little tiny bit. Coconut milk, unsweetened. Don't use sweetened, I can't stress it enough. Mix it in just like so. Got you some curry chicken, Gina Young style. Oh my goodness. Ooh, we better make you some. And the sauce, it's nice and thick. Ooh, look at it. Potatoes, they are perfectly done. Nice and soft and tender. Mmm. Gina Young style curry chicken. Make you some. God bless. Thank you all for watching. Good night.